I was really excited to see these these two pipe heads come out because um, I dig this sound, but sometimes the regular medium heads are just too lively. There's too much ring, um, so I end up having to knock back, knock the ring back with some mufflers or some tape or whatever. And uh, for a lot of the stuff I do, if it, if it's going into a really dense mix, I just want the tom to hit sound, you know, a really warm warm sound and get out of the way. There's just not a lot of sonic space for drums to just ring and ring and ring. So I'm always looking for a, a, um, a head I can stick on the drum. It sounds great, it sounds warm, and, it, uh, and it's controlled and, and gets out of the way pretty quickly. So that's kind of what I'm hoping that the, uh, the two-ply Modern Vintage are gonna do. So we're gonna swap out, these, uh, swap out these heads and we'll see you back here in a minute. I really dig these heads a lot. These, uh, the modern vintage two, give me what I want a tom to sound like. If somebody just says, "Give me a tom tom," they're really warm. They have really nice, nice attack to them, but not uh, not overly sharp. They have great tone, but then they don't stick around. The the sound just doesn't keep ringing and ringing. Uh, they kind of hit, and they hit. They have a nice decay and then they're gone. So um, I don't feel any need to muffle these any further than what, where they are right now. Um, you know, they're not, I don't think you're gonna have to do a ton of gating for this kind of sound. It's just gonna be a nice warm tom tom sound. I've actually switched out on my live kit, I've switched out to Modern Vintage 2 already. Uh, I, I love them in live setting. And um, I think these are gonna be my new go to studio heads too. If, just for you know the basic set of, here's here's a tom tom check these out so these are cool I I, I, I really dig this this line uh, so next up we're going to switch these heads out for the deep vintage heads they're two ply as well they're really thick um, just pulling them out of the package my immediate thought was it's something that I want a you know a dead deep 70s early 80s kind of tom sound um, you know, no, no high overtones to speak of and uh, just thick and sludgy, hopefully. So we're going we're gonna to swap these out. We'll be back in a second. Let's try some muffling on them. Let's say you're doing a uh, funk or a dub track or something. You want uh, that muffled 70s sound. Let's see what those sound like. We're going to throw, uh, throw a couple things on there and a wallet on the snare drum. Classic. Here we go. Very useful, these little things. Cool. You could also do you know the one. Yeah, deep vintage. 
Uh, that's a really cool sound. It's probably not my first choice if it's a really bright, poppy kind of track, but for something where you want a lot of toms or, uh, you know, like deep, thuddy drums, or maybe, um, you know, you're trying to do a classic queen sound or some really uh, funky old dub, something like that, these could be awesome. And um, it's just, a, that's a really useful sound to have at your disposal. So as you've probably guessed, I'm a, I'm a big fan of what Aquarian is doing with, the, uh, with their vintage series of heads. Uh, it, it's just a, a really wide, it's a really wide pal palette of choices within kind of a vintage warm setting. So uh, we didn't even touch on the modern vintage thin, which are even lighter, uh, brighter than the, uh, the mediums. So, you know, that's four options and, um, you know, both for top and bottom. Maybe, maybe some other time we'll, we'll get into uh, bottom heads with, with the series, but not tonight. Uh, Aquarian, I think you guys have just knocked it out of the park with the Vintage series. The new additions are awesome. Keep them coming. You guys are doing great work. And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you next time from Triple Colossal Studios. Good night. Mm-hmm.